The aftermath of clashes in Lay's settlements are often ugly. When the men fight, women and children are always the worst affected. They become homeless with no water and no food. Muing Zunga has lived here most of her life. She brought her children up in this block of land and today lives with her grandchildren. For Limki's settlement in the outskirts of Lei, life has always been hard. But after the fighting, things got worse. I'm slam house where me plus sleep long end. The Siro, Siaro and her four children stand outside the makeshift home. Her kitchen was burnt down last month. Place where me plus cook I care long end me slam. Now now me plus find him hard to stop. Man be working German German house there me plus German sleep with la hard to stop. Most have lost everything that they've owned, things they've bought over the years, and it's going to take even longer for them to get back. What's me asking you, government? You look at some dislike, right? So she saw some bring problem to law and order. Then please step in and try to look at me. A community leader, Justin Bao, says the clash began after a group accused these people of harboring an escaped criminal. 400 people are now homeless. This isn't the only clash that has happened in Lei. Bumbu. Busulum, Bumayong and Kamkumung are hotspots for ethnic clashes. The most recent at the back road area started from a domestic issue that escalated into a full-blown clash. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Lei.